there's something in the air. Daydream, I fell asleep amid the flowers for a couple of hours on a beautiful day. The MacBook Air is traditionally known for its sleek design and portability, and despite this one being 15 inches, it is no different. Although it is a little bigger and heavier than the 13 inch MacBook Air, it's only 0.01 inches thicker. This means that for its screen size, it is definitely very thin. Don't get me wrong though, it does feel like a bigger MacBook, but it is incredibly light. Given that it is very portable, the bigger screen size makes this MacBook particularly great for students. As with all your MacBooks, using Xcode is a very smooth experience. I am able to run the simulator on personal projects with no issues at all. To get a better idea of how well Xcode performs on this MacBook, I cloned the Xcode benchmark project from GitHub. This test has a list of results from other popular Apple computers, so it is great for comparison. Before running the benchmark test, it's important to follow the instructions by turning off the Wi-Fi, disabling all software running a startup, updating the battery settings, and rebooting the MacBook. With the MacBook plugged in, I can now run the test. The 15-inch M2 Air ran the test in 125 seconds. For comparison, the 13-inch M2 Air ran it in 130 seconds, and the 13-inch M2 Pro in 116 seconds. I normally get asked a lot whether a MacBook is good for web development, and the short answer is yes. Although, I would recommend getting at least 16GB of unified memory in case you need to work with multiple browser windows open at once in addition to your programming software. To get an idea of how well it might perform for web development, I ran the Speedometer browser benchmark. This benchmark uses demo web applications to simulate user actions such as adding to-do items. The 15-inch M2 Air got a score of 410 runs per minute. In comparison, the 13-inch M2 Air got a score of 342 runs per minute, while the 13-inch M2 Pro got 348 runs per minute. When it comes to AI development, you probably will not be training any neural networks on a MacBook Air, but I still wanted to do some Python and autoencoder benchmarking tests. I start with the Python Mandelbrot algorithm as it stresses the CPU to test how powerful it is. The 15-inch M2 Air ran it in only 53 seconds. For comparison, the 13-inch M2 Air ran it in 1 minute and 41 seconds, and 13-inch M2 Pro ran it in 1 minute and 33 seconds. Next, I wanted to run the TensorFlow autoencoder for comparison with other MacBooks. In order to run the test, I first set up the development environment using Anaconda. The autoencoder ran the 10 input images and it took the neural network only 40 seconds to reconstruct these images. In comparison, the 13-inch M2 Air ran it in 1 minute and 13 seconds, while the 13-inch M2 Pro ran it in 1 minute and 12 seconds. As for the typing experience, I can say that the keys feel very tactile and are comfortably spaced. I really enjoy typing on Apple Magic keyboards even more than mechanical keyboards at times. Because the keyboard occupies the same spaces on the 13-inch M2 Air, it has some more room around it, which might make it more comfortable when pressing your hands on the laptop itself. The same SSD speed issue that existed on the 13-inch M2 Air is still present in the 15-inch model. The base 256GB storage version comes with a single NAND chip. In contrast, the higher capacity model starting at 512GB come with the dual NAND chips, which makes room for better SSD speeds. I have the base model with 256GB of storage and was getting write speeds of around 1300MB per second and read speeds of around 1500MB per second. As with the 13-inch M2 MacBook Air, we still do not have dual external monitor support. So if you want more than one external monitor, you will have to look at the 14 or 16-inch MacBook Pros. To conclude, this MacBook is perfect for someone who requires a bigger screen but does not need the processing power of something like a 16-inch MacBook Pro, so probably a good option for students. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.